You need to get a website up fast and don't want to spend hours watching tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use child themes to set up a fully functional website and take it to production in a matter of minutes with WordPress. This is the condensed version of a talk I recently gave about how to launch a beautiful site fast and affordable. I cut out all the questions and discussion topics for those of you who just want the cliff notes. If you find the content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more tricks to simplify web creation for selling online. So whether it's your first site or you're just looking for tricks for launching sites quickly, Let's dive in. Hey, everybody. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome to my party. Today, I'm going to walk you through how quickly you can have a podcast website built on WordPress like that. As you can see, I have a fresh install of WordPress. In fact, I don't even have Divi on this website yet. So we're going we gonna to start from the true true and we're going to install everything on here that we need. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is on your fresh WordPress install is head to the back end and we're going to head over to appearance and themes as usual because we need to install the parent theme, which is Divi for this. This is a Divi child theme we're going to be working with. Go ahead, select add new, hit up theme upload. If you've been here the last few weeks, you've seen this a few hundred times and you probably already know what's coming, but for the new people that are here, we're gonna go ahead and install Divi. We're gonna select activate now that Divi is installed and we're gonna go right into it. We're not gonna go do anything else. We're gonna add another theme, which is the podcast child theme. So I'm gonna hit upload theme, choose file, and I'm gonna have to go find this thing because I think it's on my desktop. 1.1.2, there we go. And we're gonna hit install now. We're gonna let this thing install and then we're gonna activate it. That was quick. We're gonna hit activate. And now you can see that the Divi podcast theme is now the theme that we're going to use. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is you'll notice that this Divi podcast menu item has been added to your WordPress dashboard. Go on ahead and click on that and it's gonna want you to put in your license key, which we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue and then it's gonna bring us to this page. Now click begin installing plugins, select the button at the top, hit the drop down menu, hit install. You can install all of them at one time or you can install them individually, whichever you prefer. I like to roll all at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. So now that the plugins are installed, we're gonna select them all, hit the drop down menu, we're gonna select activate, and we're gonna hit apply. And once those are applied, we're gonna head back over here to the WordPress dashboard, just simply click return to the dashboard. And it's gonna prompt you to set up the give plugin. Don't worry about that, we've already set it up. So just hit dismiss setup wizard. You're going to also get a prompted for the pop-up maker. What you want to do is up here at the top, you're going to see install registration pages. That's where we're going to want to go next. And you're going to notice that it just brings you to this page. Simply hit save changes. Next thing you're going to want to do is come over to your settings general, because we're going to want to allow uh, anyone can register for this site. That's going to be important because it's a podcast site and you're going to want your members to register and stuff. So hit save changes. We're going to come over here and select permalinks under settings as well. And we're going to want to use custom structure and we're going to remove all this that's in there. That's populated. And we're going to select category and post name. Both just click both of them simply hit save changes. Next, you're going to click on the Divi podcast tab, and this is going to bring up the import demo data. So I'm going to select this button. You're going to notice that the Divi podcast child theme is the one that we're going to import the demo data on. I'm going to hit continue. It's downloading the layout information to give us the options of which ones we want to select. So here's the beautiful thing about our child themes. I haven't said this in the previous three videos. I'm going to say it now. We build all of these themes with the functionality that we know a business type will need. They may have multiple ways of 
um, generating revenue for their business. So they may they may host events. If they have a podcast, they may take donations. They may want they may have a membership. So these are three very distinct different things. Well, we don't know which one how you're raising money or you're monetizing your podcast. So our philosophy is give you everything that is available out there. And then if you do not want it, do not install it. So you get to choose what you want and what you don't want. So that's what this page is all about. I'm going to go ahead and hit import demo data. So I'm going to go ahead and go to settings, select reading, and we're going to set select a static page because we're going to want to set our home page to home page and we're going to select our post page to blog. Once that's done, I'm simply going to hit save. Now, I need to head on over to Divi, to the theme builder, because we need to make sure that our menu structure is set up properly. So if you're not familiar with the theme builder, the theme builder allows you to custom design Divi's header and footer, which is pretty awesome. We've got this global, global header, and I'm going to hit, you know, I'm going to click that button. All right, we're just going to hit start building when that pops up, which is what we want. And you're going to notice that the menus are exactly the same and we don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to go in and set the menus. So when you hover over the menu, select the settings wheel and it's going to pop up and you'll notice that it's set the footer menu right now. We don't want that. We want the secondary nav for this top bar and we're going to simply hit save. And we're gonna come down here to the main menu, which is the primary menu. Hit the settings wheel, select the drop down, and we're gonna select primary menu. And then we're just gonna hit save, green checkbox. And that's pretty much it. Select your three purple dots at the bottom, double save it. Divi auto saves automatically when you're using the front end builder, but just to be safe, I like to go ahead and hit the save button as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. We've adjusted that and let's go take a look at the front end of the website. We should have the podcast theme. Boom. I've installed this amazing theme in probably 15 minutes or less. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to just say it, you know, I mean, that's pretty quick, you know, to have a fully custom designed theme that you can now come in here and edit modify, change things. We're going to go over and check out the FAQ page. I mean, come on. Look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful.